All right, so 22, we have, uh, e we have a proton beam, each of the protons in a particle beam. So look, notice it says each of the protons. So how many protons are we going to focus on? One. They're giving us information for a single proton. Each of the protons in a particle beam uh, has a kinetic energy of that, 3.25 times 10 to the negative 15. Okay, what are the magnitude and direction of the electric field that will stop these protons in a distance of 1.25 meters? So let's do the direction first. Um, which way must which way must the proton be moving if it's going to be stopped by the electric field? Will the proton be moving with the electric field or against the electric field? Well, so here I have a situation. And by the way, this, this situation here is the situation that gives us what? A uniform electric field, right? Which is what we have here. Does it say that? It doesn't say it, but it implies, you know, a constant electric field. This situation, the electric field here, 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 it's all the same. As opposed to what? The other situation would be this. Right? you got like a point charge with the, with the electric field going out like that. So that's the electric field line. Is this electric field here constant? Uh-uh. What happens to the electric field as you move away from the point charge, from the big dude? It gets what? Weaker. Okay? So, we, so we're going to look at a situation where the electric field is constant. Now, if the proton is going to be stopped by the electric field, is the proton going to be moving this way initially, or will it be moving this way initially? Which way is the proton moving if the electric field is going to stop it? Against the field, right? Because does, does this proton want to be moving away from the negative and towards the positive? Uh-uh. Okay. So... The situation is this. So we have a proton right here. The, the answer to the direction is the, the proton is moving against the electric field because that would stop the proton. So we have some initial velocity, which we don't know. Okay, they tell us that the initial kinetic energy is 3.25 times 10 to the negative 15 joules. And then they also tell us that the proton will be stopped in a distance of 1.25 meters. Okay? So the velocity over here is zero. Does that make sense? So the question is, what must this electric field be? So how are we going to go about solving this? Okay, well, look. One of the equations that you learned, force of an electric field. What's the equation for force of an electric field? Q... E, right, just like force of a gravitational field is mg. So if you rearrange this equation, rearrange this equation for E. So what would E be equal to? Force of the electric field over Q, where this Q is the little guy in the field, right? Do we know the charge of a proton? Yeah, we, we have the charge of this guy. The charge of a proton is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. We can put that in right here. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So to figure out what this electric field is, we simply must find what? What's the one thing we got to find in order to n calculate the electric field? The force. If we can figure out the force of the electric field, then we can figure out what the electric field itself is. Does that make sense? So how do we find the force of the electric field? Well, for starters, which way is the force of the electric field? So here's a proton in the field. Which way is the force of the electric field going to be? To the right, you know, away from the positive plate to, towards the negative plate. So look, if we sum the forces on the proton, what's the only force on the proton? The force of the electric field, right? That's the only force. So what is that going to be equal to? Sum of the forces always equals MA. 
And by the way, do we have the mass of a proton? Is that a given? Yeah. The mass of a proton is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27. Okay. I would give that to you on a quiz or a test. You, you don't have to memorize the mass of a proton. All right, so we have the mass of the proton. So we're plugging, we're, we're finding the force of the electric field, right? So we're basically working with this equation now. So the mass of a proton is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27. Now we got to find the acceleration. Well, to get the acceleration, we're going to go to the kinetic energy. What can we get from kinetic energy? Kinetic energy equals one-half mv squared. So v is going to be square root of 2ke over m. So you're going to take the mass of the proton, plug it in there, take the kinetic energy, plug it in there, and the velocity you should get when you plug in is, is this. You get the velocity is 1.973 times 10 to the 6 meter per second. So that's V initial, right? So we now know the initial velocity is 1.973 times 10 to the 6 meter per second. And then what's V final? Zero. Is this enough info to calculate the acceleration? Yep. So we go, okay, VF squared equals V initial squared plus 2ax, v final is zero, it comes to rest. So a is negative v initial squared over 2x, 1.973 times 10 to the 6 squared divided by 2 times 1.25 meters. So this gives us an acceleration, it comes out negative just because it's opposite motion, the acceleration comes out as 1.557 times 10 to the, oh, the, I think it's 12. I can't read my own writing here. Okay, so then that gives us a force. The for, so you multiply these two together to get the force, MA. The force comes out as 2.6 times 10 to the negative 15 newtons. So you plug that in right here. One point, hold on, no, 2.6. 2.6 times 10 to the negative 15 newtons. So the final answer is 16,300 newtons per coulomb. So look, what made this problem challenging? Finding what? The force. Finding the force on the proton is what made this kind of time consuming. There is a quicker way to find the force. Is that what you are going to say? Yeah, like using, work. using work. Look, there's actually a quicker way. Let me show you another way you could have found the force. So back to what we were doing, you know, electric field is going to be force of the electric field of a charge. So that's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Another way we could have found the force, work equals force times displacement. Uh, this work, the wor what's doing work, as the proton goes from here to here, there's only one thing doing work. What's the only thing that did work from there to there? So here's the proton. Which way is the force on the proton? That way. The only force that does work is the electric field. What is net work always equal to? Change of kinetic, which is kinetic final minus kinetic initial. Kinetic final is zero. So the net work, work net, is equal to the starting kinetic. So therefore, force will be work over delta x. The work is 3.25 times 10 to the negative 15 joules. Uh, delta x is 1.25 meters. So then you get the force this way, which is 2.6 times 10 to the negative 15. And then take that, plug it in there. So basically, long story short, this problem is challenging 
uh, to, in finding the force on the proton. That was, that, that was the challenging part, figuring out what force is acting on the proton, the force of the electric field.